You know what? We don't want to, and as you say, this is my department. That's more well, like you're it. You're just going to pull rank on me. Excuse me. This patient is of special interest to me. I have seen his condition before, just not as severe. Necrotizing fasciitis. When have you ever seen that? When I was staying as a doctor for the first time in Ukraine, we had an old man just like him with this flesh-eating bacteria which spread. It was bad death. If you're trying to get in on this, forget it. You're too busy. Too busy to find out about a rare case and learn. Hello, my job. Nice try, but we already have a whole classroom trying to get in on this. Yeah, where from? Because I'm an F1. If you're using oh, our uh, theater, drink, oh, drink, guess what? Excuse me. Oi! Hush my shell up and do some work. Bed six. Well, maybe you can tell me who she is and where she's coming from. Go find out. Like you rightly said, it's your job. Yeah, maybe you can tell me who did such a brilliant job. Concussion after her fall in. outside the hospital. So, Mr. Spence. Oh, hello, I'm Dr. Petrenka. How can I help you? I'm not sure. Okay, well, can I take a look at that? Call the consultation today, important. Is that your note? Came out with the wrong back. So, until we get your CT scans, we will have to start from scratch. What are the symptoms? You can't remember your own name? How did you get here? Us? Great. Um, on your own? I'm not sure. This is stupid. I... Oh. Let me see if I can help you. Please. Perhaps if I could see a doctor. Yes, that's me. Um, I am a doctor. Hmm? Listen, um, maybe we could agree on the name for you just until we find the real one. Gloria? Could that be it? Could, could Great. That... Gloria, I need you to undress mm. and put this on mm. for me. While we wait for your scans, I will examine you, and then we'll see if we can find your real doctor. I will help you with that. Yep. Mm. Oh, um, I'll have to take your bra off as well, yeah? Mm. Oh. I'm not taking anything else off. Fine. Just get into this. I don't even know who you are. Dr. Petrenko. You look strange. Mm -hmm. You smell strange. I can feel you in my nose. Please. Get off me! Get off! Okay. I'm just trying to help. Give me my brush, yeah? Give me my breast check. Okay, stop fighting me. Are you crazy? What is that you're wearing? <laughs> oh, you've broken it. You've broken it. You. Go find out. Look what he's done to my face. Ooh, not nice. <laughs> quick, quick, give it to me. Well, what is going on? What the hell did you do to him, Petrenko? I didn't touch him. Check his airway. He touched me. So he's aggressive with the concussion then? The CT scan showed nothing. No fracture and no hematoma. All right, but what about this? What caused this? It's an anaphylactic shock. He could have killed him. Look at his BP. It's collapsed. No, he is not allergic to me. What's in your makeup? What does it say on the tin? He's allergic to my makeup? I think he's okay. So lucky for you, Doctor, wouldn't you say? Take it off. Don't even think about it, Petrenko. Anything that occurs to you, okay? OK. 
Lesser than. Lesser than glycerin fragrance. What is that exactly? It is that foundation that you touched on my face, remember? Oh, yes. Okay. Dimethicone, colorant, cellulose gum, butylene glycol, almond oil, acerbil. Almond oil. That's it. That's what it is. Almonds. Killer almonds. I'm supposed to carry an EpiPen. I, I'm supposed to carry it at all times. Could that be why you're here? I don't even know if I'm biphasic or not. How long have I been here? Biphasic? Spontaneous recurrence without exposure to the allergen. I'm... I might be involved in a trial for a vaccine or... I might be writing something. I don't... I don't... I, I can't remember. Who are you, Gloria? Who's Gloria? <clears throat> OK. If you'd like to excuse me. Um, so, do you think it's some kind of dementia coupled with, like, a hit in the head? Looks like it could be. But let's get to the bottom of why he's here. Oh, and in the meantime, until this ward is not free, you might have to stay like that, Petrenko. So, why would you write about anaphylaxis? I used to write about science, medicine. What for? Magazines, journals. That could be useful. If we find an article that you wrote, it will have a name. I'm gonna get a laptop. Know my name. I just can't remember it. What if it's gone forever? Some things don't come back. Uh well, you remember me, don't you? I grabbed your face. Yeah, you were scared. Yeah, what kind of doctor wears almond oil on her face? Ah, oh, so the dizziness is a lot better. I get so confused. I, I'm sorry I grabbed you. It was part of shock. I'm sorry I made you take your face off. You, you look... I look boring. No, I wouldn't say that. <clears throat> uh, don't go anywhere. I've been looking all over for you. You hiding? Yes. Oh, the face like that. I am not surprised, Petrenko. Um, Mr. Spence, how can I help you? Ah, uh, come on. You can do better than that. Yes, I can do better than this. Just not looking this way. What? What's wrong with your face? All the right bits are in the right places. Mr. Spence, what is it that you want? I want you in theater. All right, I'm doing you a favor, so come on, hurry up. My heart. Okay, use this. Okay. Breathe slowly. What happened? Fluttering. Let me listen. Hmm? Oh, okay, yeah, it's gone back to normal. I have a daughter. I know who I am. Is that you? Yes. Colin. That's a good name. Better than Glory, I think, for a man. Yeah. Well, now that we have a name, everything else is gonna be easy. <laughs> We're gonna find your doctor, find your address, and whoever's taking care of you. I don't know if they know. Whoever's taking care of me, I don't know if they know. Ah, they're dressing up. <sighs> they must know. I can't be sure. Why have you left your patient? He needs to go home. Has he been dumped? I don't think so. I think my brain died when I took my face off. And? OK, I heard something when I was listening to his chest. But ECG shows nothing. All right. Go back and try again. Ask around cardiology or the surgeons. Use some other part of your body, but think before he ends up with social services. OK, it's some kind of atrial fibrillation. Um, whom are you here to see? OK, Naylor, Shaw, Douglas, Hope. Mr. Hope. Yes. Whoa, we just gone back to normal. 
Mr. Hope is a brilliant doctor. Yeah, it is some kind of AF. I really don't think it's a big warning, Colin. Um, I will get the notes for Mr. Hope. They'll only tell you where I live. Yeah, and that suddenly is not where you want to be? No. You came from home. Home is safe. Home is where Colin and Gloria are understood. So what home is for you? That's where I can be myself. It's easy when you're not a freak. Don't worry, I'm a freak. Believe me. Every home should have one. <laughs> Don't do anything before I speak to Mr. Hope. Please. I want to help. All right, Colin. Yeah. Mr. Hope is happy for me to deal with this, um, if it's okay by you. Yeah. You have a rare heart arrhythmia called low AF, mm. and it has no real cause except maybe for emotional stress and has no risk. That's good. Mr. Hope would like to treat it with digoxin, just to be safe. It is not linked to a risk of stroke or anything like that. Where do I live? Oh, Humbleton Drive. Oh. Who do I live with? Colin, we don't know that, but your daughter is down as the next of kin. Where does she live? It's a different address. Don't call her. Get me a taxi, will you? Colin. Mm -hmm. Your daughter? Yes. She must love you and understand you. <laughs> Whatever makes you think that. Give me a hand with this, will you? I can't find my mirror anywhere. <laughs> hmm. What do you think of um, this colour? Well, it's not exactly the colour that I mm, use. I don't know. I, it might work with you, actually. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got, shall we? Oh, hmm. You're good to go. <laughs> Girl with a scary face is not scary at all. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just um, trying to remember. No matter what you're wearing, you're still somebody's dead. I'm sorry I called your daughter. She's here. Colin, you're gonna be okay. Be yourself. Well, this too shall pass, eh? Don't worry. I'm still pretty underneath. 